Hey fam, welcome back, welcome back to another video. We are in Bloomfield, New Jersey, heading into Aldi. How do y'all say it? Aldi, Aldi? It says Aldi, so it's Aldi. Um, so we're heading into Aldi over here um, as part of requested. I asked you guys what other stores would you like me to go into, and one that made the list was Aldi. So we're gonna go back in Aldi, being that we don't even, we don't visit Aldi that much. So this is Shauna, and I'm gonna officially check it in over here at moments with us first thing you got to do is have your handy dandy quarter refundable quarter so get yourself a card we have a mother and keon and myself get your handy dandy quarter and then it pushes out releases and then boom just imagine if aldi had like them broken carts thank you um just imagine if aldi had the broken carts and you had to keep putting a quarter in and out of different carts until you get a good cart. Now that will be such a process. Anything good? Let me grab one too. I'll show you guys the fly at the end of the video. Just put some pictures at the end. So from the looks of it, when I'm first walking in, oh wow, they got these little greenhouse, uh, little greenhouse um, plants over here. Let me see, it looks cute. Oh no, these are like the succulents. They're cute though. $13.99, $5.99 for the five inch olive tree. Those are nice. So if you're looking more so for the quick meals, say welcome to Bloomfield, New Jersey. Bloomfield Aldi, quick meals. You know what y'all, I did, I tried some of this stuff. I didn't try it, I technically bought it, sat it in my fridge. And I made the mistake of pushing it to the back of the refrigerator and then I forgot about it. So I had to just toss it out. A lot of compliments on the Aldi pizza. They have a flatbread for $5.69. Oh, they have the organic. I looked at this last time, but I did not buy it. You can enjoy this as a snack. The organic coconut chunk. But you have to look to make sure it's just coconut. It's a organic coconut contains coconut. So it's literally pure coconut. But it's for $2.89. Something great to put in the blender and make your um your smoothie like really like like a creamy taste. Just coconut. Also the all these fresh fruit. Um, it is that time of the season and the pumpkins are out. They are coming in at $3.99 each versus the pound. And like, this is the second batch I saw at Walmart. They was humongous. Same things as these pumpkins. They're huge. So, wow, the price of these bananas. These organic ones? Yeah, organic bananas are coming in at $0.71 cents a pound and $0.57 cents a pound for the regular um, bananas. Picking up some of these blueberries here. Um, it is, how much are they? Okay, so they're 345 for a pint of blueberries. Gonna put those in some of the blender with another fruit, pair with another fruit fruit for Keon. Not too sure which one. They do have pineapples here. How much are their pineapples? Only a dollar ninety nine. Seriously? It's really not bad. I really, really dislike this brand though, because every time I bought this brand, it was always brown on the inside. But let's go ahead and give it a try from Aldi, because every time I bought it, at least it came from Walmart or ShopRite. Not that one though. How do you guys spot a good pineapple though? Because some of y'all probably looking at the ca uh, camera right now, like, don't buy that one. No. All right, let's just get this one. Well, I put it back and just got a different one. $1.99 is not bad though. But their fruit section overall looks great. Um, What about blueberries and pears or something? The Gala apples are three forty nine for a three pound bag. They do have a variety of these sauces here for your chip and dips. Queso is $1.99. Um, I always recommend getting these great low carb snack. It don't have to be zero sugar, totally up to you. 
um but these are great low carb snacks but they are quite expensive they got the steak strips steakhouse recipe or the crack pepper ones for 11.49 for a 10 ounce bag though expensive um but it's a great little snack i mean i couldn't buy it <laughs> i wouldn't see myself paying 11.49 for it their chips are low but they do have chips available there's only certain ones that's low like the tortillas are just a little low oh they got the i thought i saw the blue ones maybe i'm seeing stuff but i didn't it's just the big dipper tortilla chips they're only a dollar 98 what are your favorite like snack from aldi the price of bread did go up so let's see what theirs is looking like all right do they have like a specific store branded bread over here i see this one here i don't see the price they do have the old time here for 3.98 september 26. um what's the price of these loving fresh that's these it's only a dollar 29 and for the honey wheat it's a dollar 75. i actually do need bread Italian bread for the love and fresh is coming in at two dollars and nine cents. That's actually not bad. Make the kids their grilled cheeses in the morning, October first. How many of y'all put y'all bread in the refrigerator <laughs> um, versus just throwing it on the counter? Ah, oh, they do have some Doritos here. It's actually cheaper than what you're spending in the store because for the regular size bag, like in Shoprite, even in Walmart, it's like four dollars and change. It's three eighty eight here for the Doritos. They do have the variety pack here for 18 bags for $7.19. But the 18 bags of this is $9.88. Actually, same price as Walmart. They do have a variety of different cheeses. They have the small thing of goat cheese here, garlic and herb for $1.89. Never tried goat cheese before. Um, let me see, keep refrigerated. Product of Canada. Maybe we can give one a try. I usually go for the garlic and herb. What other flavor do they have? Honey. Oh, that sounds good. Let's get this one. They also have like eggnog, goat cheese. Oh, put that down. So they have the eggnog, $2.49. That one is actually a price cut here. Um, Eggnog. Wow, that's interesting what they do with this stuff. Sweet cranberry stuffing. Mmm. That sounds nasty, <laughs> but it might be, it might float somebody's boat, it just won't float mine. They have the, what is this water? No, this Applewood smoke. Ah, oh, here we go, the smoked water cheese. And it's ch and cheddar cheese, though. And it's $3.39. I like this cheese, though. I'm a price range today. Let's keep going. I know people be looking at me like I'm crazy. They think I'm talking to myself, but I'm not. I'm looking at the dry creamer. It is sugar-free. Most of them that I'm finding um, now does have the bioengineered um, up there. But I'm looking at this one here, and it actually does not have it. Sometimes I overlook stuff. This is not. This is a non-dairy product. Okay, that's great. Um, sometimes I overlook stuff and then I wind up seeing it when I get home. And then the original made with coconut oil. Let me see if they have it. Contains milk, it says. Ah, there we go. Natural and artificial flavors. I know it was a recall on some stuff from Aldi. I gotta see, but this one actually doesn't have the, um, what do you call it? The bioengineered. So it looks like they're just a little bit low on their um, cereals. We're going to check to see how much their canned goods as far as their vegetables are. Because I see the beans did jump up in price just a tad bit in Walmart. Oh, well, wow. Seems like it here. $1.16 for their... Oh, this is organic. That's why it's $1.16 for the organic pinto beans or organic kidney beans per the can. And these are the organic ones, y'all. Organic. The date is 2025, like most things now. I still see some stuff for 2024, and y'all know 2024 is right around the corner. But they're really low, like on their string beans and their corn. They do have some, but they they look low. Um, let me see. 
What is this? Canelloni. 78 cents. 25. Okay, but these are 78 cents for beans. Yep. They're about in a 70 something cents. It's still under a dollar, but still 85 cents for the pork and beans. A dollar eighty nine. This is the coldest pride maple or country style baked beans. Um, let's just see how much they're can sixty four cents. Same price as Walmart for their corn. Five forty eight from Miracle Whip here in Aldi. It looks like they have a oh that's whip dressing for three fifteen for a price cut. They let you know they coming. They say get out the way. Um, just some other items. Let's just check out this vinegar 329 for the gallon of vinegar. I'm not too sure why my video looks so dead on blurry, but let's see. Someone did send pictures showing me the 4% of the vinegar. With the 4% of vinegar, you can't really can. Um, so they don't have 4% here, neither. It's 5% as well, but it's 329 for the vinegar here. And I heard something about olive oil from one of the other channels. This is not it. We're gonna go down the other aisle and see what's going on. They do have cabbage available and peppers. Two sixty nine for the is that a two pack or three pack? Multi color three pack. But it's two sixty nine. The price of peppers is just ridiculous. We got some tomatoes that came in from my little thing at home. We got tomatoes that came in. Oh wow, they got a thing going. <laughs> they, um, we got some tomatoes that came in. Wow, they took away a register. They took away a whole register. They adding all the self checkouts. The Aldi is over there. Um, hello, ma'am. How you doing? You need some assistance today? Uh, you ain't know it was me. <laughs> she said, I didn't know that was me. You, y'all saw her face. <laughs> yeah <laughs> um yeah wow we got some tomatoes that came in some peppers that came in but i don't know what's going on i don't know if it's seeds maybe i ain't doing something right but we did get some stuff that did come in 9.99 for their sheet sets here and these are twin size these are cute let me see it's a four piece oh that's full size how much is the full size then let's get the price of the full size Oh, those are cute too. Nine ninety nine. Maya would love this. I'm gonna get her one. I'm always picking Maya up something, and, she, and I be like, I don't want to bring Maya because Maya always wanna. Um, she always got me spending money, and then she don't be with me, and I'm still spending money on her. Hopefully, the whole thing wasn't shooting in action mode, but they got the sheets here. Nine ninety nine. Going to kids sheets. That's not bad. A lot of people down this aisle because this is where you're gonna find the finds at. So a lot of other people out these they have way more stuff than this particular Aldi. Like way more stuff. I be seeing the stuff on YouTube like ah oh, they got some nice stuff. I hope I can see that in my Aldi whenever I go. I never see none of that stuff. Oh these are cute. Look like what is this? Is this the hummingbird here? Oh it is. These are cute. They're $5.99. They got the stuff for Halloween. What is this? How much is it though? $12.99. Excuse me. Ah, oh, now we got the owl almost to our sales. $12.99. It's a trick or treat. But yeah, we don't really have all of that nice, nice stuff that all of the other um all these be having. Oh wow, they got a single serve coffee maker here for $37.99. A wine rack. I never had like wine or alcohol, anything like that before. I did see one did post these um harvest serving plates. They're nine ninety nine though. Witches be crazy. <laughs> Witches be crazy out here. They sure do. Witches be crazy. <laughs> What's this one? Oh, this doesn't say anything. That's that's cute. It's funny, but it's so true. Witches do be crazy. Oh, these are cute little cast iron mini Dutch ovens. They're, how much are they? $24.99? Would you spend $24.99 for this mini cast? 
Oh my goodness. What is mini cast iron Dutch oven? That's cute. Oh my God, the serving. Okay, let me go. I gotta get out this arrow because if I don't get out this arrow, I'm gonna fill this cart all up with unnecessary items. Oh my God, these are cute. What unnecessary mini cast iron cookware. Oh my God, that's cute. Um, I'm gonna fill my car up with so many unnecessary items. Maybe I can get one. I heard them say EBT credit or debit or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have them. That's great. Oh wow, they also have a bread bread maker here. It's forty nine ninety nine. Non stick, non 19 programs, and three loaf sizes for $49.99. It's probably not bad. Anyhow, some of their meat options here they do have meat available. They got the sliced assorted pork chops coming in at $3.29 a pound. They do have, like I said, they do have some available. He woke up. Oh, then they have this here. It's not frozen. Don't feel like it's been frozen. Product of the USA at three. What is this? Oh, a dollar eighty-nine a pound. Wow. I guess that's not bad. It's right here. It's not bad. But typically, these meat prices be out the roof. So there are some fines here. I mean, some certain prices are going up, as to be expected, especially like your canned good items. That's to be expected. Let's look how this beef is looking. Oh, fifteen forty-six. So, like I said, certain items is going up seven ninety-nine a pound for the steak. Ten seventy-two. Uh oh, I see him. Ten seventy-two a pound for the sirloin tip steak. So, same thing. The chicken, 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 chicken. They have some gaps within the chicken. Watch out for them swollen packages. Um, let me see how much is this chicken. Five seventy three for some chicken legs here. They do have meat available, like I said, but but it's all about oh twelve ninety eight. That's not bad. And shop it's two ninety nine a pound. And shop right. Um, some of the prices of their chicken actually went down. So I got one more ounce to go down. Oh, they do have bacon, bacon, bacon. Let me see how much is this bacon. Seven forty nine. It's maple bacon here. Apple wood. Let me see. I guess it's that better bacon. It's that good bacon. But it's seven dollars and forty nine cents. They do have hot dogs available. The butter. This Irish butter is three nineteen. I still have some left. The price of their water. Let's see if that's still ridiculous. Yep, three eighty nine for this small thing of water. You only get twenty four, and these bottles are like really. It's ten ounces. You only get twenty four. Um, three. It's three ninety nine for the forty pack in BJ's. Um, three nineteen for their twenty four pack. Is this the standard size bottles? No, but that's some shrinking over there. Ten ounces. That's crazy. $3.19 and $1.19 for their gallons. It's still cheaper than Walmart actually because Walmart is $1.34. So their price of their eggs did go back up. It's $1.13 but certain items are still going to go up during the holiday season. So just be mindful of that as well. They have toasted ravioli here. $4.29. They have the shepherd's pie here. $6.99. They can't order the drink. Oh, wow, they have some, um, what do you call these, French toast sticks, Two ninety nine. dollars 99 Oh, these look good. Pepper, un I wish they had turkey. The almond breakfast spice. These are so easy to make, though. Now that I'm looking at the price, 509 I can make it at home. I sure could. They got the original and a double cinnamon. Let's try the double cinnamon. We didn't even pick up my, my mother didn't either. Um, some freezer burn going on with, like, the ice cream. I got distracted because my oldest niece, she called me, she pregnant, and she needed some assistance with some stuff. So I had to stop recording and go help her out real quick. 
Oh, they got strawberry cream cake. That looks good. Some of the holiday pies. You know, if you're not really so much into cooking, you come to the store and you pick up these pies. Let me tell y'all, they're $7.99 for these pies, though. Yeah, you come pick up a pie and you just go ahead and bring it to, you know, wherever it is that you're going or serve it at home. Just don't come empty-handed. <laughs> That's the that's the purpose. Just don't come empty handed. They got turkey and pork meatballs here. How much are those? I don't see the price. Uh, Four ninety nine. A lot of people really highly recommend most of their like freezer meals and stuff like that. But I think I'm about to get up out of here because my niece really did. She distracted me with her phone call. <laughs> Oh wow, they have. Who gonna put that right in New York? Scarlet and herb seasoned chicken breast, seven forty nine for the two pound bag. So their freezer section overall, it does look overall okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, potato puffs. They do have french fries still coming in at $2.79. Under $3 for the bag. Um, seasoned french fries. It's two pound bag for two seventy nine. dollars What happened? Wait, he's looking at you. Please don't start, um, Keon. <laughs> they got some little crispy spice filled cookies inspired by Germany. <laughs> This looks interesting. Maybe hubby would like it because I know typically if I don't like it, the kids or hubby. It's my bad, y'all. Let's try with the chocolate one. It's at three forty nine. Where's the date? Oh, that's the date. 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 The date. Is the date? Why are they lying the date so badly like that? Oh, uh, that is all. I see a date on this one. All under there. 7 1 2024. Let's see. Applesauce. They got a pumpkin applesauce. It's a $1.95. Actually, have the original, the Kibo. Pumpkin caramel cheesecake latte is a seven forty nine. Um, I never tried. Let's give it a try. Seven forty nine, though. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna let y'all know how it go. If you stay to the end of the video, maybe we'll go ahead and give that a try. Or we can try the caramel apple. We can cut the price. No, I want to try that one because it's a pumpkin. This is just caramel apple. It's five ninety nine, though. Cinnamon, vanilla, nut. Oh, that sounds so good. I'm so into it. Y'all, when I tell y'all, my coffee is my coffee and my coffee is my coffee. That's all I'm going to say. These are typically really good, these little wafer crackers. They have different sauces here. $3.99. They have a pumpkin and butternut squash, pumpkin chipotle, southwest style tomato black bean. And a pumpkin maple, maple, three eighty nine, three ninety nine. I used to love these. These are so good. These little sticks. They're a dollar ninety nine. They got pumpkin spice. Product of Indonesia. Yada yada. Let's give it a try. I think that's pretty much it. I've been through the whole thing. I'm looking for the rice. I see the rice is straight ahead. Let's just check the price on this rice and get up out of here. It's getting crowded now. <laughs> it's getting here. $3.89 for their, I don't know what brand this is, but it's rice, right? Earthy grains. Earthly grains here, three eighty nine. dollars It's a five pound bag. It feel like it, yep, for their five pound bag. Then they got the instant white rice, $2.49. Cooks in five minutes, it says. Well, they do have some jasmine rice here. It looks like at least it is five fifty nine for their five pound bag. You got these cups here, it's the Kiona 
probably saying it wrong, ready to eat. Interesting. Mango and jalapeno is $2.99 though. They have the long grain wild rice for the boxes, $1.99. The couscous, $1.79. I don't know if y'all, any of you ever tried couscous, but if you didn't, give it a try. 99 cents, they do have nine cents off, bless you. For the cheddar and broccoli, earthly grains. I'm ready when you're ready. That's pretty much it for the store. Instant pre-cooked jasmine rice, two thirty-five though for that box. What is this? A one-pound box? Yep. I really was gonna leave the store without getting the price of their sugar and flour. Like what? So it's two ninety-five for their four-pound bag. It's under three dollars for. It's under three dollars though. Like every other place, it went up to three dollars and changed for a four-pound bag of, you know, sugar. But two nineteen for their five pound bag of all purpose flour. And now we are officially done. What happened? That's a different appointment, yeah. yeah. the new thing i'm actually going to do self-checkout today because they're pushing everybody towards self-checkout and i don't have all day because keon is really fussy so recording is in progress i was in the middle of this guy one thing and it just says lane clothes like really i wasn't finished and that's the issue with the thing. Like, you're in the middle of using it, and then boom, lane closed. I don't know who's working, though. So I had to wait for a whole nother one. Jesus. He ain't having a fit. Hence why the reason we didn't wait in the line. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Scan an item, select another option, or finish. My mother came up to. Please scan this on the Oh. That's it? That's all you bought? You spending only $11? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it does ask you, have you scanned all your bags? So yes, and it says, do you want to split the payment? I never seen that up here. Okay, go ahead. Let's just return the cart and get our quarterback. So we just left Aldi over in Bloomfield, New Jersey, and it was an experience. Self-checkout now, huh? That's how they doing us. That's all right, though. How was your shopping experience, Keon? You slept most of the way. You woke up at the end and started crying. I had to do my hair, y'all. I need to stop playing games and make some time to do my hair. He wanted to act up at the last minute. He wanted to act up at the last minute. It smells good, though. Smell I'm smelling who? Bakery. A bakery, right? Oh, she dropped my bag. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm finished, y'all. That was dead. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video today. If you're new here, go ahead and consider subscribing if you want to see more walkthroughs. Any other um, places y'all want to go, if we have it in New Jersey, just let us know. And that is pretty much it. This is Shauna. I'm officially checking out from Moments with us. Make sure that you all stay prepped, stay blessed, stay safe. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some pictures of that flyer. And we got to try that cup of coffee. So maybe that'll be a quick short. I don't know if this video is not too long by the time I'm done editing it then we'll include it here but for now we're gonna leave it with that peace out y'all i'm out where the stroller going
display. I didn't even have to add anything to it. It's already um it's already light. So real quick. Oh that boy hot. Or girl or item, whatever. That coffee is hot. Um It has a really good flavor. I don't have to add. I had my creamer out. And I wanted to go ahead and try the um this coffee creamer with the coconut oil. But it's no need for that because it's already had flavor and cream and I guess sugar. So it's good though. 